world was holding my own gun, I'm hypertensive But all my decisions been wholesome My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from Said I'm just big and loud Well half a pound is my silent treatment I punched out plugs I could've stopped from eating Stash of the Prada Shy nigga got up Gun in the mass in the grass, it's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock, don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks, they just shot up. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. That's all it is. You just need to do the math. It's all one problem. Here's the sad part the sad part is this, right? Is that you go into something with good intention, right? You went into podcasting because you wanted to tell your story, right? Right. You're secure, you you start to secure your energy because you want to show people and teach people how to be better, right? You make music because you want to entertain people and you want to tell your story. Mm -hmm. You rap in order to entertain, tell your story and make a bag, right? You have the purest intentions going into something, not seeing like, yo, I'm going to be hated. Mm. I'm going to be envied for this. There are going to be lies made up about me. Mm -hmm. There's going to be people that drag me down. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, it's going to be my own people, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Really? I, yo, bro, I, I haven't even begun to tell you the I worst of the worst. I got dissed by a white man yet. <laughs> Never, bro. Never. Where my white haters at? Bro, I want to do something. Please, please, don't, 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 ain't no Chinese haters out there? Please don't request them. They come with a different No, 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 no. You don't want that smoke. Right. Bro, I went through some of the craziest situations in prison. Like literally waking up in the morning, going to the yard to work out, and dudes is like, yo, them dudes is over there. They, they about to do something to you. Me? What the fuck I do? What I, what I do? Nah, son, you're doing too much. Hmm, I get it. All right, it's say insane. no more. This is already spreading bad juju but that, on my that name. Hap yeah. and it, it, it happens with you? It yeah. happens, it, well, I just like, showed you. Crazy. <laughs> I just showed you a second ago. Yeah, yeah. I feel like when we on this platform, I feel like you have to be able to be able to accept those criticism. Like vulnerability is contagious. When you when you're vulnerable, you have to know what comes with being vulnerable. A lot of things come with being vulnerable. So what does it cost? It's yeah. cost. Like it's what just a lot. Cost? You gotta worry about people saying things about you. You gotta worry about people using what you just said back against you. So you have to understand. I feel it's all about. That person have to understand their self. Like a person have to understand what they about. To, you got to understand what you're getting into. So me, for me, when I say secure your energy and I'm talking against violence, I'm going to have people be like, you talking like that, but you once was on that timing. Mm -hmm. So how you telling me not to do something and you was once on that timing? True. I'm just telling you something that I didn't have. And the right. time I was coming up, we didn't have a while to look up and say, wow, don't go to prison. This is what happened in prison. This is what's going on in prison. Prison yeah. was looked at as dudes coming home, the they right, brolic, the right shining. The passage. It's like, oh, All the snap. girls like him. All the girls like him. As a yeah. kid, you're like, oh, they I got muscles. He's muscle. I got to go through that. <laughs> That's why I respect the wallows and the champs. You they know didn't I mean? have that. They came home and they made something happen. Right. So now when I, when they got it, to That's it. a fact. So when you be seeing me talk about it's securing your energy, they like, damn, like, mm -hmm. how you do? Some but people are motivated by it. Secure your energy. How can you? Like, I tell them, it's about putting your energy in the right place. Right. Taking yourself, securing that positivity, putting positive people around you and putting that lock on it. Like I explained to y'all before, you could protect your energy, but it's like carrying a gun. You have a gun on you one day, the next day you don't, so you're not protected. But when you secure your energy, it's a lock that you know it's only up to you to let that lock be broken. So mm -hmm. when a person that's negative, with negative energy coming around you, if your energy is secure, no one is going to break that lock except you. Right. So when you explode, you're like, damn, I just let that lock loose. I just opened up the lock. It's, right. it's just safe. So this is where we got to come from. So like I tell a kid, I'm never going to tell you what to do. I'm going to just show you what's going to happen. Like you said, I can't tell a kid, put the gun down. Some kids thinking, if I put it down, I got to worry about going to a neighborhood that... They might have guns to harm me. Right. I'm never going to tell you put nothing down, right? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with you living this lifestyle. So it's up to you to make that choice. It's not a, it's not a mistake because bad choice and mistakes is two different things. It's a choice that you're going to make. That's Understand? Fact, so yeah. I'm just telling you that, man. Respect. Here we go, Auntie. Right here, Auntie. We don't have Talk love Talking to the loss. hoochie. We... <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. right. They got you the worst. Right. <laughs> We don't have love for ourselves. That's why we can't look at somebody else and be happy for them. Mm -hmm. 
So until we learn as a people to love ourselves, your mistake ain't is not my mistake. My mistake is not your mistake. But we both made mistakes, and we both can learn from each other's mistakes. But the love, we have to start loving each other. Right. Loving through our pain, loving to purpose. Right. And and nobody that's put on this earth, everybody has a story and everybody's important in life. Mm -hmm. And that's how we have to treat each other and look at each other. I don't care what you've been through, who you are, whatever, I love you. Mm -hmm. And whatever I can do to help you, I am. If you don't want my help, I understand. Mm -hmm. But I've been through a lot. I, I, I'll give you all one example. One young lady, because I'm an AIDS survivor, so one young lady, I met her. Mm -hmm. I helped her. Her mother wind up dying. Uh, I, I didn't get, you know, complications due to AIDS. And so I called her up and I just happened that her mother just died. Mm -hmm. So I was talking to her and I was talking about God. And she said, F God. I was like, mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. atheist. No. No, she was, no. She was she was in pain. Pain. That's her pain. Oh, her pain. And I did not understand that. And God said, be quiet. And I just said, I love you. Yeah. But if God loved me, he wouldn't have let my mother die. And I let her go like that for six months. Never said, just called her, how you doing? Said whatever she had to say about God. And about a year later, she called me up. She said, hi, beautiful, I love you so much. And she's in my life now. Mm. She's like another daughter. But you have to meet people where they are. She, mm. To me, that was like crunching. She said, F God. I was like, oh my God. But <laughs> God don't have to worry about nobody saying that because he's God. Right. So I, I can't fight God's battles. I feel like we all had a, we cool. all had a point in our life cool. when we said fuck God. Not say like that, but we all had a point where we it was like questionable. It was question. a question mark. I wouldn't say fuck him, but you know what I mean? Questionable. It was questionable. Like, yo, what, what the fuck is going on right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, we all had that point in life, like, yo, why? Like, why does this happen yeah. right mm -hmm. now? Everybody had that point. Part dude. of being human. It make you think, like, yo, is this shit real? Like, you see a, a nigga die that you love, somebody in your family or something, or somebody that you know that didn't deserve. What they, what they got and they get shot that you know that ain't even nothing like that. Like, yeah. why this nigga, like, how does this even happen? Like, what kind of God, like, not something like that, but yeah. you're questioning, like, yeah, the most positive guy in the hood right. end up being the one to go. Right. right. You know, a nigga over here that just did all kind of crazy shit, he just still walking around, like, because the, the, story's, the story's not over yet. Yeah, the story's right. not the story's over. Story's not over. Yet. You know, it's, it's how to you take day, that experience. Bro, to this day, my right hand man died. I don't even, I question God all the time. It's like, the story's wow. not over yet. You you have no idea what he ain't that even died from a gunshot, nothing, bro. Playing basketball, he just dropped dead. No on the idea court. what that man wow. inspired. Mm. Dropped dead on the court. Wow. I love that you just said being that. Being hot, yeah, it was hot. It's real tall. Because you don't dead. know. Yeah. You don't know. There, there's wow. a, there's a to this day. This is this is 2008. Oh, I still think to this day, like yo, why the fuck, bro? I swear to God, bro, I'm not lying right now. I think to this day, but I see in my bed, like thinking, like yo, damn, why the fuck God took this nigga, bro? Like what the fuck did this but nigga? We mean? gotta stop stop thinking. We can't God question is God though. Everybody. You can never question God though. I'm just not, because I'm everything not, is God's plans. Hold on, hold on. We got we gotta stop thinking that, that that none of this stuff is within our power. You dig what I'm saying? That's why you think so hard because it's not in your power. It's like why just happen? It make no. you fucked up so much. But this is what I'm saying. It is in your power, bro. There are people who did, did decide to do evil things and they succeed. Yes. Now what happens after? Mm. Then you look for, okay, what's happening here? But we have free choice. We have free will. So we get to make our decisions. And the devil is You gotta outside. think of God as the, the assistant. All right, okay, if I wanna if I if I need the extra, if I need the, the, the protection, if I need this, then I have to sacrifice these <laughs> things in my life and give some power that way. You dig what I'm saying? But we, we can't just look at it like, yo, this is all, you know what I mean? There's a reason for everything, but sometimes the reason is to learn. Hmm. Very true. Sometimes oh the God. reason is for a message That's to true. ring out for everybody else. Mm -hmm. You don't know who was affected by that happening that might have put them in a better state. Mm. And some people see that. And, Awareness. You know? Yeah. But it saved a thousand lives. And death is not right. for the dead. Death is for the living. I, I, don't, I, I still don't. I still don't. With my, with my bro, I still don't get it, bro. I, but but you gotta understand. Never gonna right, get it. The energy. I don't get it. The energy within all of us is infinite. There's no. We are beings that don't exist within time, but through this body, we have time. But we exist outside of this, mm -hmm. eternal. 
All right, let me tell so you. So we look at this life and be like, this is all there is. Yeah. But it's not. not. And it's not. It's not. You dig yeah, what I'm definitely saying? Definitely not. Let me tell you why this should affect me so much because it's like, this a nigga that, this the first nigga that really, not the first, but the nigga that really gave me the power, not the strip to want to rap, to tell me, yo, you need to go rap. Mm-hmm. Like, you got some shit. Mm-hmm. This the first nigga I rap for that told me, yo, keep writing. You, you got some shit. And it's like, he not here to see this shit. It bothers me True. every day. But that was, that's what he was saying. That's what you think. Hold on. Right. That's what you think. But they're more powerful on the other side mm. than they are here. Mm. So you that's don't know right. who pulled the strings to get you here. You dig what I'm saying? I had the same thing. Rest in peace. My man YB. He was making MySpace pages for me. He was telling me, yo, you need to come to the studio. You need to, yo, you rap on this beat, bro. I'm telling you. Me, I'm thinking, nah, nigga, I'm out here. We getting it. We running down on niggas. We doing this. He got killed in a robbery. That that set me on a different mind frame of where I stopped doing that. Because I'm like, damn, I'm out here doing this. And then my man get killed by the same thing that I'm doing. And it put me on a different path. Then I started paying more attention to my craft. Then I started really pouring into the shit. You dig what I'm saying? And look where I'm at now. Who's to say he not standing right here like... That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know your homeboy that you came from, your same hood, he was rapping better than you? Mm Mm-hmm. You but probably, you have an advantage that he don't have? You probably had that, that extra strength that angel on the side of him. That's what I'm saying. Bro. That should get you emotional. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> a nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays I'm on side A. Traffic going bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway. Take so long to get from Monday to Friday. Then you wake up on Sunday like it was just Friday. Crime pays the iron cage, had to find ways. I wasn't trying to slave a nine to five till my dying day.